Boom! Alright, let's do this. What do you think uh. about the new Salmon Run gear? Is it a headgear? Like, what is it? I think it's headgear. It's like a, uh, one of those... One of those... Looks like something a stoner would wear. I guess. Which is why I told Luke that it would be the perfect... <laughs> the perfect thing for him. Just fucking destroying your friend like that. I mean, he, he doesn't know what he wants his gear to be, so... I'm, I'm over here trying to help him find all the you know, visually appealing gear he wants. Yeah, I... I am tired. Because... So am I. The aforementioned roommate got up early, and I stayed up late. And then he showered, which was fine, and then he threw up again. <laughs> which was not fine. Why? Is that just because he spoke I, don't, or what? I don't know why he throws up in the morning. He doesn't know why he throws up in the morning. His doctor doesn't know why he throws it up in the worried. morning. might be weird. That happens sometimes. And, uh, I don't know if he tells his doctor that he smokes weed. Because, don't doctors have, like, an oath? Or something? They I can't... mean, I don't think the, the Hippocratic Oath is just the right that this is, like, they will treat anyone regardless. They gotta have something else, right? <laughs> Hello, Hammer, by the way. Can you even play Splatoon with just one Joy-Con? I don't yes. think so. Can you? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Not worth a shot. Oh, don't, don't, don't join this Salmon Run if you're playing with only one Joy-Con, though. I'm gonna let him join. Uh, this isn't esports. This is ridiculous. This isn't esports. It's fine. It is when I'm playing. Yeah, right. If it was esports, you wouldn't be playing. Oh, okay. You'd assume that whoever who you were playing with was calling you a cunt on the other line, and you'd stop playing. Well, the thing about AI is they can't do that. So. <laughs> all that matters. Still not joining today, not the appropriate time. But yeah, so, Ooh. yeah, some, some prerequisites here. Uh, there is a no landscaping a party jet. outside. So they might make noise. Ah, okay. Further reiterate how much I hate all landscapers. Every single one. I feel like landscaping is like one of the only like one of like three things that happens like in America all the time for no reason. I keep everyone hearing like American streamers look nice. I keep they... hearing American streamers complaining about landscapers. Like, is that all that happens in America? Yes. It's just landscaping. It sucks when you're in an apartment, uh, and uh. uh out of yeah, Novel, you can you can, nah, you, you can play, I presume. As long as you're on point with a single joy. I can't believe that worked. And also, I'm leaving. Uh, in like, what time is it now? Yeah, like an hour. So we have an hour to uh, mm -hmm. talk about everything we missed. And so uh, I guess we are doing the one tomorrow then for the rest of it. I mean, that's been my plan ever since like this morning when I told you. Yeah, so. no worries. <laughs> <All right. laughs> because it would that's... go on forever. Like, <laughs> that's so. That's fine. It's the day before E3, too, so they can't hide anything from us. Two days before E3. What do you mean? It starts on Saturday. No, it doesn't. Well, technically, the show itself doesn't start until, like, June 10th. Microsoft's E3 is Sunday night. And that's the first one. I'm just gonna open my calendar here. Hello, Fat Duck. Shield Dog is absurdly silly, and I love it for that reason alone. Uh, EA is on. EA Saturday, count. Gavin. Hello, Manly. So, if, you, if you want the Manly, you might want to band over the Chris's checks. That's where fucking everyone else is. Hell yeah. Yeah, EA don't count. So they, they do count. No, they They're don't. At twelve fifteen p.m. Eastern time. Don't count. You have to actually make new games to count. So EA, EA starts tomorrow. <laughs> 
Yeah, it doesn't start tomorrow. Not tomorrow, the, the you know. The day. We'll get, we'll get to Pokemon. We have a lot of stuff before, like, oh my, Jesus Christ. Oh, my fucking foot. Oh, Jesus. We have so much stuff. Like, hey, there's a Deuce Flyfest now, but remember the old one? We haven't what? Salmon Run since that. So, Gavin, what? time travel or teleportation. That's not what the next one is, though. Yeah, but we haven't streamed since time travel or teleportation has been announced. Alright. And I want to talk about it. I mean, if I had to pick, I'd probably be teleportation for regular utility. Well, didn't you do the Splatfest? Yeah. Okay, because <laughs> you're saying it as if you haven't already decided. I mean, the thing is, I don't really care what my answer is, I'd always decide Marina anyway. No, see, but this one's actually interesting. I'm like, I'm like the newer one. <laughs> like, that was, oh, that's what I mean. Like, regardless of what my own answer is, I'm not going to side Marina anyway. But you gave an actual answer, so I'm proud of you. You know? I if always you were give an affiliate, actual answers. You just don't like them. If you were an affiliate, I'd give you 100 bits in chat. But not, not yet. That's tragic. I probably never will, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's easy. All you have to do to get Gavin All to actually have to do answer is somehow find is give him 14 money. more people. But yeah, it's like obviously teleportation. Like, <laughs> I have grown so that hate driving so much. So if I could just like even I think I talked about this right. Well, no, not on this. You've talked about your rampaging hatred of all drivers driving and everything to do with vehicles, yes. But, I'm like, maybe on Twitter, I was like, uh, I was like... Fuck me. Like, there was this- there were these walls in the staircases of my high school that looked exactly like the walls that you put portals on in Portal. And, I, it always Thank made you. me think- I made you. Or don't, whatever's cool. Hey, Gavin, I was in the process of turning around. Either way, uh, I was like, man, I would really love to just put a portal there and then have a portal at my house and then just get there without having to ride the bus. And now I'm like, man, I really wish I could just teleport to these dog locations so I don't have to drive there. There's like literally no reason. Like teleportation would just improve everyday life to the nth degree. Ooh, but t in time travel, I could go back in time and put five billion stocks in Apple when they were so cheap. Okay, I haven't heard that one a million times before. Dipshit. Oh, but I could see our very bleak future. Why is that the time travel scenario you, you A, go to, and B, get mad at? Because it's the one everyone uses, and I'm sick Why of it. everyone uses is go back and kill Hitler. No, they wouldn't do that. Yeah. They couldn't do that. Cowards. I mean, you couldn't do that because, you know, Russia exists, but... Well, no, because I time travel and set my coordinates right outside Hitler's house while he's a baby, while his parents aren't home. And then I kick him, and then he dies, because he's a baby. And then I go back in time and stop Nintendo from making Mario Maker randos on Yeah, see, now that's a thing that, uh, literally couldn't happen. But... No, you get in and the will kill you where you stand. You know, it's like, oh, I'd love to... I'd love to go into, uh, fucking the I past, where nothing exists. Just everything's shitty. Well, I'm glad I fell in the water there. I feel like when you can just locate the time his parents did the sex and just knock, like, knock on their door. <laughs> oh yeah, my sex. god. Oh, hey, This is why two people don't oh, come over here. This is why driving, three it? people don't come over here. What was everyone doing? I was already on it. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I'm always on it. Uh... Yeah, just... Time travel, what are you thinking? I wanted to get to 400. <laughs> Oh. You may yet. You may yet. 
I'm, you know, I'm just gonna skip that next topic. There was uh, no. What was it? No, there was the what Sony was it? State of Play. What was it? I mean, you could take a guess if you look at the timeline, because these I are all in chronological order. I don't remember. <laughs> Actually, they aren't because I put Monster Hunter first, and then I'm like, you know, Gavin's probably gonna want to talk about the Sony Direct as a whole, even though I don't really. I mean, all I really had to say about it was like, congrats, you had like. You like you borrowed a Capcom trailer that was going to be shown later that night anyway, and you had one genuinely cool thing to show, and then the rest of it was just complete shit. Congrats. And weren't there you two interesting things? There's Monster Hunter and something else, but I forget what and the Final something else. And remake. Right. And that's the thing. Like they borrowed the the Monster Hunter trailer barely counts because there was already a Monster Hunter event scheduled for that day before the state of play, so they just begged for that trailer instead. Like, fill out the run time. Well, it was on the state of play. First, I think. Really kind, cause it's, it's like when, like, like, Square Enix shows up on Microsoft's show and shows, like, a bit of a Tomb Raider and goes, like, okay, we're gonna actually show the real thing on our own show. It's like, good <laughs> job, Microsoft, you wasted a slot. Or Ubisoft, they usually also do that a lot. They show up to someone else's show and go, like, okay, nice show up to ours if you wanna see anything. Nintendo. <laughs> like,. I would kind of like to meet Jesus, so I could see who the guy is that managed the influence most of the world for 2,000 years. Well, that's the thing. That's a oh, that's man. a pretty big gamble, because... I mean, we don't know if he's actually God. Well, that's not really the question, like, the question is, we want to know, like, like what was he like at all? Who was this guy who, like, managed to just completely shift a big, gigantic chunk of civilization for fucking, like, millennia? Did he? Or was it you, you live the in America, authors, like the most violently or was it the authors in the world? that decided to pick Jesus? Who are the authors? The Bible. Most of them were his mates. We don't know that. I mean, by the same token, we don't know if he Jesus was the mate. So That's what I'm. Well, no, don't we? Don't we know that he was at least real? I don't know. I think there are records of him, like, literally being crucified, but we don't know if the crucifixion was legitimate or not. I think that's how it goes. Numbers away off the exercise. See it. Get fit. Yeah, I haven't been doing that. <laughs> TMG's coming up, too. The dream is dead. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Monster Hunter. Oh, that's really interesting. There is, yes. It was like hype, and then people were like, wait a second. Isn't that just Lavia Sloth? Isn't that just a what? monster that's... I forget what the, the moose monster's like a reskin of. If it's a reskin. It looks like I did enough, but oh well. I think it was like from an older game or something, which I get works, because it wasn't in Monster Hunter World. Oh wait, didn't like Devil Joe throw rocks or something? Yeah, he did. Yeah, so I think that boy might have been it, and then, uh, old monster. I mean, people are just happy about that. I don't know shit about it. I'm just gonna assume it's good because they decided to fan service it. I like dog fun. I mean, at least they're actually, you know, making it snow and ice themed. Yeah, that's quite nice. You might be like, what were you expecting? Not that, I'm being honest with you, not that. <laughs> Maybe like, one sub-area that's actually snowy. I mean, they've cool. done full snow areas before. So like, you know, it's, it's like it's not like out of their wheelhouse. Yeah, but I mean, going going from that one Monster Hunter game, they weren't that just, impressive. Most they were historians just believe like, that Jesus was real, but there are popular theories that the Bible character Jesus is based on multiple real people. Okay, interesting. You were saying yes. I don't know. All right, <laughs> that the the snow areas were basically just white ground and then a snowy mountain JPEG uh, in the background. Yeah, how does PSP not have super HD graphics? <laughs> this is legit. Like you're trudging through snow. It's snowing. Stuff like that. 
I'm very excited for the aesthetics of it, and I mean, they all they already kind of blew it by giving me a Christmas outfit, so, uh, like, anything they put in now is kind of just not going to be as good, objectively, but, uh, God, just let me die. Okay, They'll so which one, which one are we going on, team? Which one are we going on? Because I moved to this one, and now everyone's over there. I was trying to get eggs in, because we like we need them in to win. Find me again. to be like, oh, am I ready at a moment's notice or no? Yeah. It just kind of bumped me into that. I mean, even if it's a reskin, I think that the moose in Monster Hunter is really cool because it's a fucking moose. And I mean, it... like, the th the nice thing always is, even if it's like a reskin of the skeleton, they can give it all sorts of mechanics and shit that make it play completely differently, so I don't really care. I mean, I just yeah. think that it's cooler because it actually picks stuff up in its antlers, which makes yeah. more sense and is just cooler than, oh, it kicks it or something. I mean, that's what that's what I mean. Like, it has... Like, it changes what type of attack it does at you when it does that, depending on the terrain around it. It looks like it's going to be fucking annoying for everyone that isn't me. The insect wave user will just nah, be it looks jumping like we over it. Dodge. Unless it aims upwards, in which case, oh shit. Oh, you better bet it'll aim upwards. It'll probably like catch you with like the horns when it does the up flip or something. But then I can use the puff of air to dodge. God, the insect wave is so good. Yeah, and why did you start with Twitter rounds about people not being on ironically joyistic things right after I said it on like the sword of Look, we're, we're it's getting not that. Like, just to specify, the thing that like set me off was that this is a. It wasn't what you said, because you, you just said you didn't like it. That's fine. That's not my issue. My issue is specifically people describing things that they enjoy as dumb, so dumb, oh, it's so stupid, and it's just like, like shut the fuck up. You know it's dumb can be used in an endearing no way. No fucking can't. So yes, it can? Up. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I'm tired of this trend where everyone's like, I'm just going to use insulting words to describe the things I like. So that's haha, funny, ironic, lel. But no, shut the fuck up, just enjoy things. It's just, Jesus. It's like if you have, like, your cat! He's a dumb little shit, you call him that all the time! Like, yeah, I call him a little shit, that's fine. Like, it's the same thing! I don't think it really is. It is, Gavin! Now, there might be some people who are like you now. Uh, I, no, the point really is, it is like, like I described to you, the thing that set me off specifically was a guy on the NLCS going, Fucking like, oh, you know, like, I really love Godzilla, but it's a 3 out of 10. I loved it so much, but it's just so stupid. It's a 3 out of 10. It's really bad, but I loved it. It's like, so you fucking like it. Stop saying it's shit then. Well, I think, is that like, I, I obviously, I haven't watched it because I'm two months behind on NLSSs, but, uh, is it like me and Paper Mario Sticker Star? Where I know it's objectively not good, but I still like it, but I will acknowledge that it's still not good. No, that's weird to me, because if you liked it, then you can just say it's good, it's fine. You know, like, you oh, can Lord. do that. Uh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Adamant refusal by, like, fucking, like, damn near everyone to just admit that they like things, and that things can be good, even though, like, they can be slightly ridiculous or whatever. The whole thing just pisses me the fuck off. It's just like, just, just, Jesus Christ, like, stop doing it. Like, you can just enjoy things, like, to use an example that you did that annoyed me, was when, like, Persona 5 was, like, in its fucking it's climax, doing its big emotional reveal and everything, and you just went, haha, that's so dumb, and it's like, Chris, <laughs> It's like, why are you even fucking playing if this is how you're gonna treat it? 
cast. It's, like, it's not just you, it's like fucking everyone. Like, David's like, I'm doing it. Like, fucking... Like, fucking half the critics I see on YouTube, like, started doing it. It's like, just shut up. Like, just shut the fuck up. For Persona up. 5 specifically? No, just in general. Okay, I was gonna say, because... I mean, I, I explained it, you know. Persona 5, throughout most of the game, has just the right amount of fantastical. Makes makes sense it just fits everything and then at the end it kind of ramps up man and by kind of i mean it really ramps up and i'm like whoa <laughs> for some people you know i understand you're like oh shit that's cool but i'm just like i'm kind of like knocked over a bit it's like jesus christ yeah but then it's when you go on to insult it and sorry like, this is stupid this like is the absurdity dumb. of it was too much no it isn't that's where we disagree, and it's okay to disagree. I mean, it's not even that. Like, it objectively isn't, because this is what the series has been doing since it's inception. But it's my first Persona game, so... It doesn't matter, It does boys. matter! Like, come on, man. How am I supposed to know that if it's my first game? I'm not. Somehow I'm surprised you don't know that Shin Megami Tensei and everything about it is not about... I literally games. don't know anything about Persona or SMT other than that I gave up on SMT4. It was too hard. Like, even then, like you saw the tutorial, that should be enough. I didn't. <laughs> you, like, how did you give up on it? Did you just because I didn't beat the I tutorial. <laughs> I changed it to easy, and I still couldn't beat it. Uh... They made fun of me, Gavin. <laughs> uh, Jesus. They said something about Satan. I don't even remember. My issue is, it's mainly just like a lot of us, the wording. Because like people, it seems like this thing where people are just like fucking dedicated to calling anything that isn't just like 100% dull reality. You know, oh, that's stupid, that's dumb, haha. Like, hard dare this thing have like emotional investments or anything? Like, why isn't it just detached, unironic, like ironically detached to the life shit? Fucking. Up. I see people going like, oh man, you know, like Devil May Cry 5 is so good, it's such trash. And it's like, no, it's fucking not good. Fucking weirdo. I mean, Devil May Cry seems like it's that kind of dumb, you know what I mean? No, it's not. Where you have a motorcycle that's also a sword. That's not fucking dumb, man. That's just, it's aesthetic. There's this thing called, Gavin, going... there's this term literally called dumb fun. And that's what it seems yeah, like to it's me. A fucking that's the appeal term. of it. No, it isn't. That's a fucking stupid term. You literally say your sword turns into a motorcycle. This game's amazing. Yeah. I know, that's not Why my, do you that's think? Not... You like it's, it so much. It does. That's its aesthetic. I it's enjoy absurd. it because it's yeah, because it's absurd. Absurdity isn't dumb. It's not stupid. They're synonymous. They're not. You don't. You know. That's you know where. What that's where you're getting absurd. hung up. You don't think they're synonymous. That's they're the disconnect. Not synonymous. It's not a don't think. Like they're not synonymous. Like stupid is a step beyond, and then asinine is a step back. And then Silly is back in that realm. Words are weird. Absurd is not a synonym for fucking dumb or stupid. I'm sorry to tell you, you've been using the word wrong your entire life. Oh, even if you think that, that's what people mean. And guess what? They're fucking stupid for saying it. The point of the contention is the words they use. Like, if they mean something else, use the actual fucking words. Don't resort to just, re don't resort to just insulting it. See, Gavin, this is the fight that I tried to make, and everyone just says, let language evolve. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, but the thing is, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, let, oh, let language evolve. All right, sure. Fine, let's just start saying racial slurs and say we're letting language evolve. All right, fine. That's Logical cool, right? extreme. Still works. That's what they're saying. Yeah. If words have no meaning and like the context, like you know, no meaning or context, and they can't mean anything because old language is evolving, just start saying racial slurs. It clearly doesn't matter. That's not what it means. That's exactly what it means. No, it's not. It's that, exactly. That is one hundred percent the definition of it. Exactly extreme. what it means. That's not what evolving is. That's what evolving is. So, you know, just evolve the words and make the words evolve in the ones that aren't offensive. It's fine. You can do that. That's clearly how words work. See, you can tell Gavin's very perturbed because he's doing this. That's okay. 
can tell you don't have an actual point against this. You're just stifling. Yeah, you're the one saying that you can say the N-word. Because language evolves. I mean, that's like that's literally what people are going like, Oh, you know, let language evolve. I can just say words and they mean whatever I want them to mean. Are basically getting at. And if they want to like go like, Oh, well, that's not really what I mean. I was like, well, no, you see, words can just mean whatever I want them to mean. And that's what they mean now. Fucking idiot. Oh, that sucks. It's just something I fucking hate. It's like, it's, like it seems like everyone's just rampagingly insecure about just going, I unironically enjoyed this. Like, you can call, you can just say, haha, like, that's funny, or ha, I enjoyed this, or like, going, that's fucking stupid. Oh, like, Jesus. I will say I do like that now three separate people, because someone I also, I also know asked me, that was this about me? Uh, they thought this was all at them, and I, I feel like that says something. Because you well, said it, it was, and it was, someone else said it, and a manly night thing. thing. The thing was, I, it was the perfect time because of the dog legendaries. Because, I, I mean, mean... When I tweeted it, you were just randomly playing, thing. like... Well, because I, I, as I was uh, reading it, I was like, he's probably also talking about Persona. But then, like, when I read your words more uh, specifically, it was like, uh, you know, probably not per about Persona. Because I didn't like the ending I mean, like, of Persona. Part of the, the catch of it is, is going like, if you didn't like it, that's a different thing. It's when people are enjoying it and then still insulting it. It's like, shut the fuck up. Just say you enjoyed it. And I was like, you yeah, know, my defense was, my initial reaction is, I don't like this. And then I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? Actually, I think I like this. And that was uh, my defense. I'm still not too big on the, the shield dog, but I mean, it's not. I mean, that's fine. Like, that's not the point of contention. It's not it's cool. Always... Oh, and it's like, you know, why, why, why do you think everybody loves the memes of dogs holding swords and knives in their mouths? It's the same thing. What? It's just silly. The point isn't that it's silly. The point is that people are using insulting words to put down things that they actively enjoy. And like, they, what I get from it is that they are wholly yeah. insecure in the things they enjoy. They refuse to admit that, hey, I like this or that this can be good. Oh well, no, it's slightly ludicrous. Oh, it's not like it's not just human misery happening out in real time. Like, oh, I can't say this is like really good or anything because that would you know imply that anything other than just fucking like depraved human <laughs> suffering is like legitimate as an art form or anything. So like, just fucking say you enjoy the goddamn thing. I think all that matters is that Where's I'm not at fault here anymore. Matter. So that's all that matters. Now they would be empty, right? No, he's not. Okay, no, there he is. He's just dead over here. I got him. It's chicken nuggets already. Fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> yes, that's my angry time over. So, about those piss hot springs in Monster Hunter. <laughs> piss hot springs? Yeah, you saw them, right? They didn't look like piss. Yellow hot springs? That looked like piss. I think you need to get your colors checked. Nope. <laughs> it was yellow. That was not yellow. And then there were the monkeys. I would say it was like an earthy color. I wouldn't say it was yellow. So, diarrhea. <laughs> okay, I mean... I'm pretty sure it's more just the soil underneath the water. <laughs> That makes a yellow color, that makes it look like PISS! Novelle will be getting shield. Like shield pop has a beard. Yeah, sword's just better. And I want to be in control of what the three perfect IVs of that Pokemon are. <laughs> Instead of being like, oh, let's trade on Wonder Trade. Not one to trip, whatever. GTS. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, oh yeah, these things are cool. These things are not cool. I'm thinking about the future, like breeding and shit, and I'm I'm kind of worried. 
When's the when's like the twelve hour long breeding stream? That's the thing. I couldn't just breathe. I need to watch something. That's how it works. You stream yourself watching things while breeding. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> no. I mean, they, they, we don't have to hear it or see it. You can just you know put it on your desktop and turn off desktop audio and then just talk away while you're watching. No, because then I'm not focusing. Focusing. Did I see the balls get three announcement? I did indeed. And I find it fucking funny that it was like, this is for Google Stadia and then also PC. And it's like, ah, so it's for PC then. You guys are going out of order chronologically. I didn't realize that was actually on one of the topics you cared about. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw shit about Stadia and I'm like, no one cares about that. So, uh, who cares? And, uh, sure enough, it's still garbage apparently. So who cares? Maybe. It's about the principle. Yeah, Ice Iceborne looks really fucking good. Like I am fucking excited for it. Yep, I just uh, hope the insect wave gets some cool stuff. That's right. Like they show like the improvement they're making to Dual Blades, and I almost just yell aloud because it's not just you can just <coughs> fucking do like dodge a lot better and also you can just like, shoot while dodging so you basically it just turned it into like this is dmc and i have like gunslinger active i can just fucking like attack and like roll and attack and roll and attack and shoot just constantly like a fucking demon i love it i wonder if i'll actually use the thing it doesn't seem like it complements the insect wave even in that insect wave video they posted on twitter Oh yeah, the clutch crawl? Yeah, because it's like, oh, but you could get two consec boosts at once, but I'm like, you still have to throw it twice. What's the benefit? <laughs> like, uh, it's just, oh, you, get, your throw? you get them both at the same time, so it's not as desynced, I guess. But they tend to not desync anyway, like, it's just, like, the insect wave already basically attaches you to enemies' faces, so. I'm still I mean, gonna it's use useful it. for, like, me who can't mind to save his fucking life. Because <laughs> I've tried like timing it every which way, like early, late, while I'm like on the monster's feet, and it just seems to happen at fucking random, but I just don't get it. Just use one of the three aerial attack weapons, Gavin. It's easy. <laughs> also, when they were talking about the slinger buffs, everyone in chat literally said RIP SNS. What's so special about Sword and Shield? Like, <laughs> does Sword and Shield have that? I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll never know. I haven't used, like, Sword and Shield a lot. I guess I haven't used Sword and Shield, no. Eh? I was always, like, Charge Blood. Also, people were excited about G rank. Which, yeah, it's, it's the master rank is basically just G rank. That's the thing. Like, I'm not really excited for it because all the hard difficulty stuff in Monster Hunter World just isn't appealing. <laughs> it's just too ridiculous. So I think it's just going to be that. What Plus, G rank is different. No, nah, it, like it's just fuck hard. Wasn't it like you get G rank gear too? And that's you do, not yes. If you game. actually like start winning, you like you start getting great shit. I imagine there will be an equivalent of that in Iceborne. Because in Monster Hunter World, it's like if you want to increase your gear, you have to get this RNG shit. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want that. That uh, led to some of the funniest moments in like the few Monster Hunter World streams I did with David recently. And he's been trying to get like a streamstone so he could like unlock augmentations to get better stats on his gear. It just wouldn't come to him no matter what, and it was like, 10 fucking comps, he couldn't get one, and sometimes I would just look at mine, I've got like two of them. I mean, that's just the Monster Hunter thing. experience. It is. It's just stream stones are more annoying. I, I wouldn't say so, because you just hunt monsters. And it's like, oh, you got the stream stone you want, oh, but it's the weapon you never use, you fucking idiot! Die! So I'm hoping G rank is more like new rank gear, where you just fight the G rank monster and get the G rank parts. I don't know if that's how it works, but I got. Body. I some of like the later gear, like the Nergigante Gamma armor, is included for like the Arch Temper Nergigante. Like is like that. You just fight that, get the better parts, and just make the better armor. Also, why do they have event? Like, why do they lock that shit behind time gates? 
What's the purpose? Two people playing. Mm -hmm. I have like stuff to try and beat people back into playing if they left. I thought that's I what I was. It's just like it seems so unnecessary. You're just frustrating the players who are already playing, and then they leave, and then they're like, "Oh well, it's been like a month, and I haven't played the game." So instead of doing this content that I was gonna do when I was playing, I'll just not come back because I'm busy with uh, Super Mario Maker. I don't play Monster Hunter World Cup Day Mario Maker. That's not true. There's me. I mean, there's yeah. you. I'm not playing Mario Maker too. You're not playing. Yes, you are. No, no I'm not. Gavin, I need to, I need to play your levels. I'm not. I'm not there. I, I'm like... I derive so much joy from playing friends' levels, Gavin. You can't deprive me of this. I mean, if they add, if they add like all my multiplayer, I'll consider it. <laughs> you get you get the. Free stylus when you pre-order the game. I had to buy it on Amazon for seven dollars. Why would I use a stylus? Because on how are you gonna make levels on a goddamn controller? <laughs> oh, but the, the Nintendo button. employees said that it's good. Of course they would say that it's good. I would just use buttons. It's fine. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I use a keyboard and work. I have like ample finger dexterity. I thought you were gonna say like. I'll use the keyboard and mouse, which I was like, wait, did they actually announce that? Mario Paint had that. Why? There's a USB port. Just make mouses compatible. Can, you can actually use mouse and keyboard on PS4 games. Like it's a, it's a whole thing in like Rainbow Six Siege's community where if you're playing keyboard and mouse on PS4, you're a cunt. Cause you just <laughs> you're just naturally aim better and be better than everyone else. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I would say the PS4 is better, but they still have that shitty controller. It stopped working after playing three games. I didn't stop working. And I don't want to buy another one for $60. It just. What did, you, what did you do to your controller? Nothing. I casually played all the PS4 games on stream, basically. I wonder. It was what? That. Like Monster Hunter World, Persona 5, probably a few other ones, right? Golf. Golf, every, everybody's golf. <laughs> PS Fortune Street, kind of. I, I completely forgot about Final Fantasy 15, which I bought with the console. <laughs> That's not even up on my list at the moment. Uh, I would suggest leaving that one to space out your big JRPG. <laughs> Besides, like, Xenoblade 2 would be before that. Wow, I suck. Oh, fuck. Alright, it's fine. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what am I to do? Wait, I have an idea. I guess wave three, by the way. Oh, know. cool. That works. Why do the snipers love me so? Actually, what do you think this next one is next? <laughs> Alright. The Sonic movie got delayed. <laughs> what do you, what do you yeah, think? think? Hang on a sec. Gavin, the thing you retweeted about buying a slave being a warning sign for bad Isaka, I couldn't agree more with. If anyone ever makes an anime based on slave harm, we would sadly have to nuke the whole planet. Dare I fucking ask what slave harm is? It kind of, it's kind of self-explanatory. Sounds like something <laughs> you tweeted about. No, no, the, the tweet I was on about was Shield Hero, which is just trash. Yes, uh, Sonic movie? Yeah, it got delayed. Did you see they the new design? Did they release the new design? Yeah, they like, you know the shot where Sonic's standing in the middle of the road and then he looks up? They, uh, the director, whoever, that dude who's doing the quality control <laughs> is, he posted a video of it. I, I didn't see. And it looked better, but now everyone's like, oh, well, it's going to be too cartoony in the real world. I prefer the old one. And I'm like, 
No. Well, one number one. Someone, number is one. Saying no. That just disappears up their own asshole. Number one. No. Number, <laughs> number two. What were you expecting? Like when you're like redesigned the Sonic. What were you expecting? Yeah. The problem was that he was too realistic. His weird feely fingers and. It's not like he looks teeth. like a cartoon. Like he still has the kind of texturing that he had. It's just. <laughs> it's just like. The change in the fortune and shit. That I, I don't even. Was it the change? I think it was mostly like the face and the shoes. And I guess he's had he has gloves now. Which is <laughs> good. <laughs> People are really hyped about the gloves. I have to see his sinful hands. <laughs> I need to be let out to the bathroom after this one. Yeah, I haven't actually seen it. I wasn't aware they showed the new design. I thought it was like still secret time. When I when I wrote this down, there was still that controversy about like they're gonna you know kill the people working on the movie to get this redesign. It was it was before uh, the dude was like the movie. I kind of wonder about that because like they're not gonna be changing any of the choreography or anything. They're literally just changing the model. They already have like all the animations rigged up and everything. Well, that's the thing. People were talking about how that's not true. And, yeah, they were talking about a bunch of movie shit, and I'm like, okay, I don't really know how making a movie, or an animated movie Wait, which works. Which part is, like, not true? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it, apparently it's more work than a model swap. I don't believe that they just have to make a new model and then, uh... It. I mean, you probably have to like adjust lighting and shit, but and maybe some animation tweaks depending on how much you change. But like, oh, you also like so like re-rendering re the whole movie and all that shit. Like that's just you set the thing to fucking render on your your Mac Pro and off you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's also in my notes. But, uh... Uh. Yeah, that, that you know I think that they handled it extremely well. I think they handled it pretty well. Like, I was like, this is a marketing ploy. Like, they already... Like, the trailer was its own thing. I they actually already made the movie like that. don't $999. <laughs> I don't think, like, they, uh... Uh... Like, I don't think it was a marketing ploy and they deliberately made something shit, because they had already shipped out, like... Like marketing like materials like posters, play cards, you know, big cardboard stands and shit to send them is like across multiple countries. So that's fairly expensive. That's a lot of print work, a lot of shipping work and you know advertising negotiation all going on. That's a that lot makes sense. of money to drop. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't make like you, they would only just release the trailer and like nothing else if they were like trying to do it as a like a, a ploy for attention. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know about the other stuff, so that makes sense. Uh But yeah, I mean, especially like considering that, they handled it really well, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, they did. I'm actually genuinely surprised they actually like allowed, you know, like, the the remodeling to go under at all. Like, I'm surprised the movie studio was just like, ah, fuck them, people will watch it anyway. Yeah, and like, you know, that people were, uh, like, that they delayed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just everything, and the Sonic actually looks pretty okay, except for the lack of mouth in that one shot, which is probably just that one shot. Like, just like waves in that frame or whatever. Yeah. Cause it's like I'm. I'm assuming his mouth is closed, and I, I feel like they're making it whatever his mouth is closed. It just isn't there. Which I don't know if I like. But well, it's better than the lips. Yeah, like, I kind of like that. It's just the sign though. Like there, 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 there were like Sonic games that had that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. That wasn't really into. Okay, I think someone else got their thing in. Cause there's no way in hell I'm making it out of this. <laughs> I mean, conceptually, it still looks bad, but <laughs> they handled I mean, I, I, they handled probably the, the worst part of it. So. Yeah, yeah, the movie will probably still be bad. They, oh yeah, yeah. You know, the model change will stop the movie from just being trash. But hey, you know, points for trying. Points for putting in effort. <laughs> <laughs> like it's nice that someone on the project cares, you know. Yeah, basically. Listening to fan feedback for once. 
Your voice matters, Gavin. Apple wasn't before the Mario Maker Direct, was it? I just kind of no, Apple was like this week. Yeah, it was like. It worked. Okay, so. <laughs> Mario Maker Direct, which, uh, you know, normally would just be the game looks amazing. But then there was one caveat that everyone knows about, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's the fucking no friends online thing. Yeah. And there Nintendo, was that the best description I saw was Nintendo is like a dog. You just do things kind of arbitrarily. <laughs> well, it's like there was that one meme where it's like. Uh, strangers? No! Fre only oh, friends! Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> and then it adds the punctuation, so it's yeah. like, strangers, yes! Friends, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, because that's what you think Nintendo would do. They would make it friends only, because you know these people. That makes more sense, yeah. That, that's how Nintendo has done literally everything in the past, too. It also literally just makes more sense. Like, but like the thing is, then it becomes the argument of would you rather have only friends or only strangers? And I think most people fall on only strangers because you know said only friends. that's based on your schedule and you know every like there's always going to be people ready for it when you want to play. Whereas with friends, you have to schedule stuff and you might not have friends, which was literally half of the comments when that news broke out. <laughs> Good thing I don't have friends, smiley face. Uh, Repeat. Uh, I can't go on forums and talk to people. Repeat what? for 1,000 more tweets. It's like, oh, but yeah, you can play locally, but you know, no online friends. Fuck that. Sleeve of Harm is about a guy who comes to a world of RPG elements, buys a bunch of sleeves, cheatability extends the sleeves. It's terribly written. The author makes the main character fuck, but is too scared to actually describe the sex. He just says, oh, I have sex. One of the three worst web novels I ever read. That sounds fucking artful. <laughs> One of three worst web novels. This is manga count? Because there's my balls, which was a great <laughs> manga. That was a good one. <laughs> I have uh, that on my my anime list, displayed proudly. I think I gave it a seven too. That sounds about right. Also, I like that, but... Yeah, the, th the thing about the Mario Maker thing is Gavin and I were already planning to have a whole kind of stream thing where yep. we just play the game together. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I can do that with Kevin too. Oh, maybe we can do that with Carl. Maybe, you know... Yeah, extend the other one going up. Literally everyone, and then, you know, oh, maybe they'll play it on the NLSS. Oh, maybe, you know, other streamers will play it together and it'll be a fun multi-stream thing. And then... Yeah. Literally all of that comes crumbling down. Like, <laughs> it's not even just a me thing. It's It just impacts everyone and, you know, I think it just negatively impacts how people will stream the it, game and shit too. So many, on so many levels, it just doesn't It doesn't make, make sense. sense because they already have the online infrastructure. It's not like, oh, well, adding online to this game would be difficult. No. And, like... To make it based on, uh, to make it like randoms only, that's a conscious choice you have to make versus just like pick ID from list of IDs, join sessions. Yeah. You know? And like everyone's like, because they, they said like, we want to keep the ranking system fair and shit. It's like, okay. Shit. Well, number one, everyone's like, remove the ranking system. Yeah, I would exactly. rather have friends <laughs> than a ranking system. <laughs> And then there's like two Fucking weirdos to make a separate mode where it's just friends only and it's completely yeah. independent of the ranking system. And then there's option three, which is make it like Splatoon 2, a game you already have and has been out for like two years where like, like there's any league battles. <laughs> like if you want to if you want there to still be ranks when you're playing with friends, make it like league battles, a thing you yeah, already have. A there's, match. There are three whole steps <laughs> to this thing. There are <laughs> endless solutions to this fucking thing. Three easy options. If you ever see anything related to martial god is you should just run away as far as you can. It might be the worst piece of literature ever written. No, that's the Bible. <laughs> so, <laughs> am I a right <laughs> Muslim? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to this convention soon. It's called Mecca? <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, I mean, and you know, and then everyone's like, Mario Maker 2's still gonna be a good game. Like, we didn't even know that they were gonna have online, and everyone was like, oh yeah, I'm getting the shit out of this. And it's like, that's not the point. That is not, not the, the point! point. <laughs> and I mean, part of it is like, even if Mario Maker 2 was still gonna be a good game, I had no interest in it until they said, hey, you could play, like, made levels of your friends. I was like, oh shit. That's, that's the thing. Like, uh... I was reading all of the all of the tweet replies because I love tea, you know. <laughs> yeah. I and uh, like, because there there were like what five tweets reporting this, so I'm like, I have five tabs open. I'm just kind of switching between them that morning. Drinking and, deep the tea. And, uh, there were only like a handful of tweets that were like, I'm boycotting this until they add it because I'm sick of Nintendo. Most of most of the people saying I'm not buying it now were like because they were like I was gonna buy it because I could play it with friends. Yeah, like they're like me, where it's like I, I was only going to buy it because I could play you know Mario levels with my mates. Yeah, it's like they, Mario. it's like you know they got the people's hopes up for that 24 yeah, hours. When you, and when you take that feature away, it's kind of like well I don't have a reason to play anymore, you know? Yeah, because Steve has a whole video even on the make and play problem of Super Mario Maker. Where this mm. dude who loves Mario Maker goes into the whole problem of why it's not actually worth playing the levels other than, like, you know, <laughs> having fun and stuff like that. Yeah. So there are obviously plenty of people that agree with that. And, you know, playing with your friends would be the uh, catalyst there. But you know, some people just don't want... And, like, it's rank, it's ranking, so, like, that doesn't really help people like me. Yeah. The ranking <laughs> get is also get just performance fucking anxiety. Weird thing. Yeah. Like, why are we having like ranked competitive Mario here? And I mean, the, the thing the is, wacky level editor. But it's like it's it's interesting, you know. It's I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's an interesting idea. We'll see how it actually plays, but I don't really have a problem with that. If then it gets in the way of friends, then I'm like, all right, dump it. But yeah, and also, uh, other than that, there was the whole Mario 3D World is completely separate, which people are not happy about. I'm especially not happy about it. Do you know why? I why? hate, I despise, I will kill Cat Mario and Cat Power Ups. I hate that power up. I hate it. It says genocide all furries now. I hate it. Like, it's so. Kill all furries 2K19. It's so not Mario. It's just so weird and unsettling, and I hate it. And that's the thing. Unsettling. <laughs> all because Mario because uh, 3D World style has all of these better things. Everyone's mm. gonna use it. It's like the new Super Mario Bros. theme, you know. Like it has more mechanics than all the other ones. So most people made levels in that, which also made it easier to cheese. But whatever. And uh, now people are just gonna make all of them in the 3D World style, which means there are gonna be more cat power-ups. Which means I'm gonna be not wanting to play more levels. And I'm just like. <laughs> And it, it has all the cool mechanics, too, that could just easily be swapped into all the other ones. Just as easily as the enemies that you ported over to the different styles and made new things for. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It's not even that different. <laughs> it's not like, you know, because, you know, it says new gameplay styles, so there are obviously going to be more as DLC. Yeah. Or they're going to announce one at E3, which people are saying probably isn't going to happen. No, I reckon that's like a fair guess. Even if it's not one that's in like a launch, and they'll probably like announce their first like update one, update one. Maybe, but like if their plan was to build hype for the game, then they probably wouldn't have gone with 3D World. They probably would have gone with a game that people, more people like care about. No, I think like that's uh, like a first start. If you know what I mean, it's like that that open like gives like the impression that hey, maybe there could be 3D styles. Cause like this one uses 3D models. Well, that's the thing. New Super Mario Bros. use 3D models. I mean, like, you know, 3D models, but also, like, not a 2D, like, a strict 2D camera point. You know what I mean? It also uses a strict 2D camera point. No, it doesn't. It does. But you walk around <laughs> I, I think, are you... No, but... Oh, okay, you're saying it transitioning into 2D. I'm saying it's... It's pretty similar to the other styles, still. All that's different is, like, there are bullet bills in the background, and also Meowser flies in the background. Yeah, but you can, like, move in, like, 3D space. Like, I, like but what I've seen of, like, Super Mario World is, like, you can... There are, like, it does have sections where you can, like, wander around, like, a 3D space. And go in um, behind stuff and in front of stuff and all that. Not Mario Maker 2. That you know of? Yeah. 
I would have heard. Okay. I would have heard that you can move in 3D. Unless they haven't like shown it to anyone yet. No, but they have. <laughs> I wonder. Game like explain that. has a whole thing. Like, game we got explain to play. how I don't own the fucking game. We got to play Mario Maker 2, and they played in the 3D world style. It would have come up. It's ba it's basically just gonna be like things in 2D. <laughs> 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 uh. I'm having. <laughs> but, uh. Ugh. Like, people are obviously saying Mario Bros. 2 would fit because that's a completely different kind of game with the picking up things and the maybe yeah. different playable characters and the different Very enemies. The fact that jumping on enemies doesn't kill them, you literally just use them as platforms. Yeah, it's like a very different rule set. Yeah, because it's not a fucking Mario game, idiots. Uh, but. I the love purpose of standing still. <laughs> Dynamo roller tactics. <laughs> no, I'm not standing still. I'm moving forward slowly, which act still activates the hitbox. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so people are saying, uh... Mario 2, and I've only uh, also seen, like, maybe a Super Paper Mario style, which I would like. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I would like it. I feel like they probably would do that. Now that feels like a, like a relatively easy one to do, if you know what I mean. Here's an idea. They announce a new Paper Mario game at E3, and then they say, and we have a trailer for Super Mario Maker 2. Please, have a look. And then it's the Paper Mario style. No, they gotta go like, <laughs> this is the thing, the upcoming is a paper adventure, and it's just do like, do 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 do. do. <laughs> Color Splash remastered. Well, then, look, we'll get to this in tomorrow's Salmon Run about why I'm not excited about a Paper Animal Mario Animal Crossing randos only. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that, that was another thing people were saying. You can only visit random villages in the new Animal Crossing. And you can't visit your friends anymore. <laughs> Which, you know, I was like, it is possible, by the way. I would find, like, I wouldn't want this the only option, the option, only, the only option, obviously. I would kind of find it funny if there was just a visit random button. Well, it, they, see they what should, else gives you up into. They should have that, it would make people be a lot more creative, like, you know, Dreams yeah. kind of has this whole random thing, because I've been watching some Dreams recently. And I think it would be cool if something like that was in Animal Crossing. You just kind of surf through towns and then you say, Alright, I'm done, take me to the next one. You could spend hours doing that. Yeah. And then people would obviously build their towns I mean, to... Being Nintendo, there would be like a hard cap where you can only do it like once or like a day. <laughs> so you know, like, once you've done it, like fuck off at 24 hours exactly on the dot. Now here's something Nintendo would do. You know the... What's, it? What's the name of that fucking species? Uh, Wap Gear, uh, fucking, what is it? You know the Dream Spa in New Leaf? Yeah. Where you can visit people's towns through that? You yeah. visit a town, and then you have to leave the Dream, and then there's a whole talking sequence with the NPC there, and then you have to get back in the bed, and then you have to re-input a code or select random, and then <laughs> that's how you do it, instead of it just being instantaneous. <laughs> yeah. I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see that happening as well. Yeah, I mean Mario Maker 2. It's still looking good, but that is a it's a big hit. And the thing is, I tweeted about this earlier because someone made a joke that SpongeBob uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated has online with friends. Like one game has online with friends, the other is Super Mario Maker 2. And uh, oh boy, we're all we're all meant to be dying here. Yep. <laughs> And then people in the comments were kind of like defending Super Mario Maker 2. I'm like, no, you still have, like, it's I mean, fine. Like, the Tendo fans are gonna do that, you know? Yeah, it's, a, like, it's fine to, uh, like, still buy the game, but you should still be making a fuss so that they add it later. Yeah. Because everyone's like, oh, well, you know, they say we, we can't, the Nintendo rep said, like, we can't add it as to the game as is or something like that which implies yeah, like, that the, it it's was coming like in this version of the game which is like yeah it's coming and i could see the fact that they will add it eventually 
it is just how could you be so fucking like brain dead stupid to not have it <laughs> initially <up>? yeah <laughs> like they don't get off the hook there obviously because why make you wait for things game freak game yeah freak, game freak but uh Uh, uh... Can he do it? <laughs> I'm surprised that head didn't eat that whole, like, swing. Yep. God. We have a lot of eggies here. Even these. Even more. Right now. We got it, just live. <laughs> He's alive. Done. Yeah, I'm gonna get Mario Maker too. Nah. Come on. Nah. Come on. Nah. Uh. Was Apple after Pokemon? Apple was four Pokemon. Okay, let's talk about Apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's three. Oh, we gotta... Right, okay, so uh, how expensive is the new Mac Pro when you get everything? Uh, we don't know. But we do know, they, they put the list no, in, right? No, they, did, they didn't know. You don't usually, like, the full price of like, the fully formed customization version isn't known until the thing's out. But the starting uh, price for like the default model with like all the default statistics is like six thousand. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's the starting. Look, price. It do, like it doesn't matter because even like it just being more expensive, like it, do, it doesn't matter. It's already so expensive. That's <laughs> that's enough, right? Yeah, it's so six. expensive that only the like the looted, only biz like movie businesses and the ludicrously rich would ever have a chance of getting it. Especially since they then detail what the upper end of the specs. <laughs> Are the yeah, I saw, I saw your tweet about. It, I was like, what? Like, there was something at this Apple thing that's actually like interesting. So I watched the fucking trailer, and yeah. uh, oh my, <laughs> one point five terabytes of RAM. Sixteen I, gigabytes is good for pretty much everything. So I, imagine a I'm thousand like, like, times that. I know, like, it's like even for like. You know, like movie shit. Like you're making like a like a 4K render of like a giga movie or whatever. You can get by on that with like 64 to 128 gigs of RAM. <laughs> like that's a high end machine for like movie rendering, as is. Because like that's what like the that's what the like the maxes of the other are like max are and like max are regularly used for this shit. Like you know, like an iMac Pro where you have like 128 gigs of RAM max. That's fine. Like that does like Hollywood's like high end movies perfectly fine. And now they're turning around and saying, oh yeah, this is have like a thousand times that. <laughs> like, not, times that. not a hundred times. No, no, a thousand. One thousand <laughs> times that. Yeah, and it's just, I do not, I cannot possibly fathom. The processor has 28 cores. How many cores does your computer have, Gavin? <laughs> that has like eight. <laughs> I think mine also has eight. So... Like, <laughs> Gavin, tell Chris the thing I told you about what happened when they showed the percentages for iOS and Android. Yeah, it was like, it was, it was like, uh, they're like, this is the amount of people who, you know, like are sad. This is like a satisfaction rating for like users with iOS. And it was like 80, 90%. And then like, here's the one for Android. And it was like 20%. And the whole crowd went like, <gasps> and then it began like, clapping like fucking seals well, the thing is speaking of the crowd apple has been <laughs> taking down videos of the crowd's reaction to the computer and i don't know <laughs> what the crowd's reaction was but i, I have to, to imagine mac, it was laughter right if i remember right for the mac pro it was the standard you know like cheering clapping like fuck yeah it's more product buy more product i do know that when the stand was shown the 999 dollar lump of plastic was shown even the apple crowd was dead silent you mean you mean for the monitor Fucking... right no yeah it's a stand for the monitor yeah yeah but gavin did you see all the gears and mechanisms inside of it to make it's it so that you can change it plastic. you can change it as if it's on air 
<laughs> the cat's like talking about like, yeah, you can like t turn it and twist it and tilt it. And it's like, yeah, I can do this with my fucking like and my monitors and work, which are like fucking a hundred pine tops. <laughs> and then, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't know anything they were talking about with the monitor, but it, it's, it's like... all fairly standard. You can, you know, you tell like comfort ergonomic shit. And it should be telling the sort of crowd that this sees completely contextless fucking like satisfaction report numbers and like claps like fucking seals and gasps for error at that. Even they were dead silent at the price of that fucking lump of plastic. <laughs> Even they. It's like you're not allowed you're not allowed to complain about being made fun of for being an Apple fan anymore. Like they jumped <laughs> they jumped the shark. Yeah, no, they by all means. Like, I can tell you, like, and I do mean it, you know, like, the iPad is, like, genuine, like, one of the top tablet lines. It doesn't fucking matter. Apple are still, like, fucking terrible. <laughs> Just, like, oh my god. Like, but it, there's one, there's one little inch of silver lining, I think. And that what? is, maybe one day, there'll, that machine will be an affordable price. <laughs> because that's how computers work, right? I mean, not that machine. Machines of equivalent, machines of equivalent that, specs. Look, I didn't say the near. Yeah, yeah. Okay, basically, I was gonna say I, I didn't say the near future, but <laughs> because yeah, that thing like, is just the Apple brand of machine will never be a reasonable price. PCs of equivalent specs will eventually be a reasonable price. The Mountain are gonna head out. See ya. Yeah, I was gonna say. No. There were like there were a few interesting things at that event. Like iPad is getting its own operating system. Yeah, it doesn't like, it's it... have, like actual file structures and systems and shit. And like that's cool. It has like flash drive support and external hard drive support and shit. Apparently, you can connect it to your Mac so that it acts as a drawing tablet. Yeah, well, like that's all pretty cool. Like I, that's that's nice. That's nice. And there's also a really interesting tip where the Apple TV is getting DualShock 4 drivers. Which is curious, and because it all is literally just the same operating system at the core, maybe the iPad will get DualShock 4 drivers? You know? I'm not sure, like, for their Apple Arcade thing, that's like obviously what they're doing it for. But other games, like, making use of it would be pretty cool. Do they make more Animojis? I think I saw something like that. I have no idea. I didn't pay attention to that shit. They looked even uglier. They were always ugly. Even uglier. Even uglier, yeah. <sighs> and then there's the Pokemon Direct, which has some ups and downs. <laughs> you have an Apple TV. What's it like, Noel? What do you think about Dynamax and Gavin? I like it. Okay. I think it's. I think I kind so of find it's like really. I find it really, like, I just kind of appreciate that the region based in the UK is, is apparently the region that's like, you know, like, Mega Evolutions and, like, all these high-end power attacks, they're not enough. Like, we need to make fucking Kaiju battles. It's not enough that we're, like, we need to have Kaiju battles and we need to have stadiums dedicated to fucking, like, world-ending attacks. Like, that's what we need to do. I think it just reinforces that this is a land of, like, where mild violence is how you say hello. Well, I was gonna say that, uh, as far as, like, aesthetics, for the Dynamaxing, they did a really yeah. good job. Like, when you throw the Pokeball and it lands and it just breaks the ground. And it's yeah. not like that fake, you know, that fake ground break that they uh, have, I think in the previous Pokemon game, where it just looks like it's- Yeah, no, like, it actually like makes, digs up bits of dirt and leaves it there. Yeah, like, you know, the when the Pokemon land, like, they do give it oomph, but as a mechanic, I am really, I just am not a fan. I mean, that's a mechanic, it's like, yeah, that's just the standard, you know, like, mechanic, oh well. It's, yeah, it's like, more powerful moves, but now it's three turns instead of one turn. Or all yeah. battle. It's like, oh! And then, you yeah, know... I'm not just kind of like, I just fully expected this sort of completely arbitrary restriction soon, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Megas, I'm gonna be honest. Every, I don't lie, I don't But, uh, like, this is just Megas, but without the designs, you know? <laughs> Well, there is actually a point on that if you want potential spoilers. Because every Pokemon can use it and they can't design, you know, new designs for well, every Pokemon. Well, actually... There were I mean, are two you talking about the, the, like, 
Reddit or four chan, four -chan no, lead, the four chan lead, yeah, which yeah. was two weeks before, and got everything in this direct darn by name exactly to, like as described. And then he wrote uh, more. Like, yeah, he wrote more and said like there is, you know, like a mechanic advanced form of the <laughs> Dynamaxing <laughs> called Gigantamaxing, which will actually have like model changes and shit. Yeah, but it's just why not just make more megas? Hey, you know what mechanic everyone loved? What? And was the best mechanic? The mechanic that was in Generation 4. That's right, there was a mechanic in Generation 4. It was called Giving Old Pokemon New Evolutions. Okay. And it's not here. We've <laughs> seen literally five Pokemon. <laughs> That's not gonna be here. We've seen literally we, five Pokemon. Yeah, and we already know. We're not gonna do it. We've, we've seen. There was something in that league five. about Farfetch, but I think that that's just an Alolan version. Like man, mean. we've seen five Pokemon. Good job, Farfetch. <laughs> like it is so comically early to start saying they're not doing this. That you yeah. sound like the sort of person who's defending Warrior Maker Two for not having it. But is it fair to say that uh, we aren't gonna get that many new Pokemon? I mean, like the estimation goes that like. Roughly 100 to 130. And even if it is just like a, what was it, Gen 6? I only had like 60 or whatever. You know, it was like something like that. I don't mind so much. I want, I'm, I just missed the Gen I, like, 5. Like, I base. like a lot of what we've seen, like the little you know, grass one is a new fluffy baby. Oh, yeah, the, the new Pokemon are all great. Corviknight is fucking mad. Everyone I love loves that thing. Corviknight. <laughs> that thing For good reason. Beautiful. I, I haven't even seen anyone bird. say. It's kind of generic. It's like just a crow with red eyes. It's a big crow with red eyes. I haven't seen anyone say that. That was like, I was expecting that. <laughs> it's like a fucking like armored knight thing. And this is what they use as a taxi. <laughs> That's the detail I love most. That this thing that looks like an envoy of death is just a fucking taxi in this region. <laughs> it's the fly, which is good because they're, they basically just confirmed. Yeah, we're just sticking to this. <laughs> yeah, we have no reason not to. Yeah, no reason not to. Yeah, fuck it, go for it. But now it seems like it's just kind of like... Maybe there'll just be... There's services, not things you call or something. Yeah, but that's fine, man. It's not like that. Sometimes like, that's better. It's just a net positive. Like, Giga maxing or whatever the fuck, uh... Bad, but everything else, like, good. So... It's like only a mechanic that's gonna be useful in the raid battles and, uh... Gyms. Everywhere else is probably not going to use it at all, except. I'm, I'm be honest, you could probably also like just beat the gym leaders with, with I hope anyway. so. That's my that's my intent. Because, because like, you know, it's, it's Pokemon. It's, it's for babies. It's easy. The problem is, it's going to be a thing in competitive play. So you, that's a thing you have to account for when breeding, and it's just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. and it's inherent to the Pokemon. It sounds like so. It's not just oh, you just give it an item. It's like oh no, the Pokemon has to be Dynamaxable. And I'm like ugh, ugh. I didn't I get want. that impression. I got the impression it was just fucking anything to do it. I hope. Because <laughs> they have the accessory, but... It's like, yeah, the way I saw it was it just like Z-moves. As long as you have like a thing or like you can like stick a thing to it, you can just make it fucking go. Well, the thing is they say it's exclusive to Pokemon in the Gower region. And also, what reason but yeah, but, do you have? Yeah, that's the same way you say like Z-moves are exclusive to Pokemon in the Alola region. Like what? You know? What, uh... What purpose would there be to catching Dynamaxable Pokemon? That's to also use the mid Pokemon Sword and Shield. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you I can use get... Dynamaxable Pokemon. Yeah. And they emphasize the fact that it's different Pokemon at different times of day. So it's like definitely something. If you want to Dynamax this Pokemon, I mean, you're gonna have a, to put some work That's just like in. part of the part of the general like because they have a big open field, open world area where like some Which Pokemon you find good, just by walking around. Yeah, I really like that. The fact that you I can move the like, camera. Can, yeah, and you can also like see them. You can see like some Pokemon will just be walking around, not there's like random encounters and also like live encounters. I well, really what, like were that. there random encounters? I think they. I, I there heard were, that they, yes. like, they uh, crossed the bridge with it by making Pokemon on the overworld, but the times of day was random. So no, nah, like there's a mix of both, like. They show like the the show a few times like, walking into the grass and triggering an uh, attack, and also like the big open world bit has like the classic like patches of long grass on top of like Pokemon wandering around. 
At least from what we've seen, it looks like they're in there. <laughs> they haven't explicitly said yet. And all the, all yeah, the character like, designs are also good. All on point, I love all of them. Like, the champion's a fashion disaster, but I mean, that's, that's good. footballers yeah, for you. It's that, like, you know, and uh, what, what, what is his fucking name? I am moderately iffy at, like, having to wear your own football uniform for, like, gym battles and, like, fuck off. Well, I but, saw someone say that uh, gym leaders all having, like, you know, football uniforms kind of makes it so that they won't have as unique designs, which we'll see, but... I, I, mean, I mean, I can see them also swinging something like they have, like, a casual version or whatever. Yeah, that's a football stadium, and, like, everyone, because it's the UK, it's all football stadiums and everyone's wearing football uniforms. I really wish the crowd just had their mouths open. That's all yeah. I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird! They're, they're fist-pumping, but they have this stoic face on. If it was in any way accurate, they'd be tearing up the seats and just beating foreigners <laughs> for whenever the champion loses. Or whenever the gym leader of the place loses. I think Hop needs a better name. <laughs> <laughs> Give Hop a better name, and the grass gym leader needs a nose. I, uh, no, he doesn't. He's perfect the way no, he is. No, he's not perfect. That is like the most accurate depiction of a fucking like, rugby meat nugget man I've ever seen. It's really funny like, though how he looks like a, a gentle lad and he's the buffest character in Pokemon. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, that's that's perfect. Like That's a, that's, a, that's not a lot he plays football, that's somebody who plays rugby. He can he go plays, like, head to head. Like, football. He can go he, like, head he to head. He wrestles you to fucking death. I love all the jokes about him, or the one, especially the one that's it's the. He's a map. You need help getting out of the ground, and he just he's like, "No, nah, I was doing myself to burst out of the fucking earth." Hello, Biggs. Should be a map. But you know, I, I love him. He's like, I, I love the fact that he's just a fucking meat mine. It's so like, it's like, what, what's the most important thing in Pokemon? The designs, and the designs are all good. So, yeah. the mechanic can suck dick, uh, you know, there's some whatever other things were a bit negative, like, you know, well, not, not as many new Pokemon's a pretty big one. Oh, you know what? I mean, one again, like, we're just kind of working off the assumption of that. They I think, didn't I think say that. I think that's gonna be the thing. If not, I'll be pleasantly no, I, surprised. I feel like you're just setting yourself up for negativity for no reason. Well, it's good to be, uh, not expect much than to expect more. Yeah, I mean, so. that's true, but you're not, it's not so much expecting, like, not expecting much as in you're actually expecting minus stuff. You know? It's good to expect less than expect more. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're expecting more of nothing. You're expecting more, just in a different way. I'm expecting Generation uh, X you're and Y. You're expecting more bad. And <laughs> Gen 7 uh, things. Oh, okay, we made it. Uh, what else was there? Oh, right. One thing that bothers me, it's its a nitpick because it doesn't actually really affect the game or designs or anything like that. The sizes are not true to form, which is just, they prove they can do it. Literally, this new mechanic proves that Whale Ward can exist. It's not a, a limitation. It's just, like, it, it, it makes the Pokemon more unique and cool, and I like it a lot. And it's sad that Coliseum will still only be the only Pokemon game that has this. What would call Sima Hill Battle Revolution? Uh, maybe Battle Revolution also has it, I think, but... The Battle Revolution had a fucking huge rate closet. I remember that distinct, which is just shock shock. Yeah, so there's more than one game, but, like... Just, why not in the main game? <laughs> like... Because they're cranking these things out faster than they have time to make genuine, like, refinements and improvements. It's just upscale it and downscale it, right? Forehead. Nah, it's probably if you want to get like scaling completely right, you have to compare everything to each other and put everything in the battles a lot to make sure they're all like look correct next to each other. I mean, that kind uh, of reason why I don't like Dynamaxing is I'm pretty sure it's actively why this isn't a thing. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Even though Dynamaxing wasn't here, they wouldn't do this anymore. So that is a level of like graphical effort Game Freak has demonstrated <laughs> they don't really want to do. It's just like, what's like. Is your big Raichu really that impressive when it's the same size as a normal Whale Ward? No. So let's make Whale Ward smaller. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not. I'm pretty sure it's more just they wouldn't fucking bother with accurate size shit anyway. You know, yeah. I have I have a bit more faith in Game Freak than you do. Or really, it's just... Weird. 
You know, that's which is also weird to me because they are creatures of pattern and habit, and you've seen this pattern and habit for the better part of a decade. You should know by now. It's just my. It was. It was one hope that I had, and it, it has been crushed, and it makes me sad. But I mean, on the on the bright side it. of Dynamaxing, I think if they do take it, like I, on Twitter, I realized uh, last night that maybe like because it's four versus one, right? Yeah. And they put an emphasis on that this Pokemon can heal, and healing has yeah, been completely kept, fucking useless in. They kept the stressing games. this creature has that can like strengthen and heal others. So, so I'm like, I'm like, why, stuff, why emphasize, like, why make basically say this Pokemon is gonna be not as good? And then I realized because it, it's gonna be good in Dynamax battles where like if a teammate gets hit, then you can heal them. Yeah. So that made me wonder: is there gonna be like a wall and a like? Uh, Spy or whatever, I mean, whatever that They basically is. are already at walls and that's the thing. And yeah, like, but will they emphasize it? Will there be moves specifically for this purpose? And then this is definitely not going to happen. But like, will it be possible to have a five-man battle where one person is the Dynamax Pokemon? No, no but I can. But that would be cool. But it's a really cool idea, is it? Like, it is. Yeah, that is a really cool idea. One person is just I'm fucking monster and I'm trying to beat you. Like the problem. I thought I thought about that idea because, like, healers are still going to be useless in battles otherwise, which sucks. So like, if if you made it a mainstay kind of thing, then like a, an actual type of battle, maybe it'll get used. Oh wait, it won't because Pokemon fans only care about one v one. But the suggestions that like they were going to like try and make double battles like the main form of combat at some point. Probably should be welcome just to allow more tactical variety like that. Can we have multi battles that are actually easy to do? Thank you. Can we make it so that uh just make it like a standard RPG party which is aligned with three or four gits. Yeah, can you time. can you make it so I can queue with Gavin in a multi battle and uh we can fight two other random people? So that multi battles actually have a use? Because multi battles are the most fun thing in Pokemon to me. So to me. When did you have to go, it. by the way? Just want uh, to check your oh, time. yeah, it's like 320. We should leave. But one final thing. The legendaries. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really look like legendaries to me, but whatever. I never understand that. Like, What do people mean by that? It has to have a penis neck, and its head has to look like a penis head. <laughs> he won football, the football last week. Uh, I think Celtic. Talking about Palkia, ladies and gentlemen. I hate that stupid piece of shit. Yeah, no, I never understand what you say. It doesn't look like a legendary. It's like because it, it does. It does kind of look like you know. Like, have you fucking seen any legendaries? Like, they can look either as majestic or over designed as Digimon, or they can just look like this is a bird that's on fucking fire. <laughs> or they I got colored in Warshock test in cases in the case of Zapdos. <laughs> Uh... Oh, it's a, it's a friendship bracelet? Wait, what? I have to, I have to see what this thing is. <laughs> Probably a body piece then, or a leg piece, isn't it? Because there was, there was a... They, Squid Kids do have a leg piece that looks like this in something, right? I think so. Yeah, it's a leg piece. Ugh, bare feet. Ugh. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what the Christ? God, that looks weird. They look weirdly long. They have the, uh... <laughs> they have the square your fingers and toes. <laughs> I haven't seen the plaza, no. I didn't look down or yep. anything. I mean, I'm legitimately surprised that... Well, I'm, I'm not surprised, surprised. But, but I should say. I mean, I'm, okay, I'm I have surprised. the wooden sandals where you can also see bare feet, which I didn't realize, but... Yeah. I'm saying it's... I'm surprised it took them this long, because... The game is basically, like, about water guns and stuff, right? It's common to not have, you know, shoes yeah, yeah, on yeah. when you're having a water fight in the backyard. So, it's just they could have maybe designed them to be a little smoother and less angular. <laughs> you know? They look like TF2, almost. Worse TF2. TF1. Do I just put this on and just be like, see if Luke notices? <laughs> 
Let me do, do that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it. The yeah, overall Pokemon good. Oh, he's definitely gonna oh. notice this. It's really hard not to notice. <laughs> You'll come back at the very end, Hammer. Yep, we're done, and no 30 minutes of nothing, because I have to leave. Woo! That'll be tomorrow when we go forever long, because I have things I wish to talk about, like the other thing from the state of play we just skipped over entirely. You had your chance. You were talking. Oh. You you spent that time talking about how the state of play uh, was nothing or something, and I'm like. Yeah, except for two things, and you just pushed it in the monster of the world and then on. Because you said there was nothing in the state of play, so I'm like, okay. Except for two things, There's one of them monster talk about. the world. But you don't listen to what I actually said. I feel like you didn't say that. Go back and clip it. You can go back. I said those exact words. By the way, I, got, I gotta go, brother. so I guess we'll open with that and then E3 or something. Yeah. Alright. See you.